Do we really want to name this Eevee the Forgotten? It's a, it's a little over the top. We could save that for, like, a cooler Pokemon. Like a scarier one or something. Let me stretch my leg for a second. We could name it, uh... What do we- what do we could name it after our Let's Go Eevee one. We could name it- what was it, Broomstick? We could pretend it's our Eevee from Let's Go Eevee if you wanted to do that. Unless you just really want to call it the Forgotten. Okay, fine. Call it Even Steven. Alright, what do you- do you want to call it Even Steven or do you want to call it Broomstick from our Let's Go Eevee playthrough and pretend it's the same one? He, he fucking the lone survivor of that awful, awful Nuzlocke. Put some continuity into it. Or we can just call it Even Steven. Take your pick. Dude, I, I'm not gonna lie. I love Dunks. I wish he wasn't laying where he was laying. Even Steven, okay. Because I really want to stretch out my left leg, but the way he's laying... I have to keep my keyboard next to me. <laughs> there were no survivors. We call him Broomstick Jr. We actually, actually, if we want to go continuity, we could call him Broomstick Jr. And he's out for vengeance of his dead father. He wants to finish the war his father died in. kind of like that, actually. I'll leave chat the final option. We can save even Steven for a different Pokemon and call him Broomstick Jr. Give him fucking, like, a Massacre Vengeance. Save Broomstick Jr. for another? That doesn't make any sense! Fuck. I'm calling him Broomstick Jr. Well, I'll give someone even Steven. I swear to God I will. I promise you. But, like, because Broom... Even Steven's a funny name. Alright, I'm gonna be real with you. Even Steven's a funny name. I don't want to waste a funny name on fucking this Eevee. Listen, maybe he's adopted. We aren't even using this one. That's why I wanna, don't want to give it a funny name. This Eevee I gave you special, you know? You should definitely die in the exit. Eevee I gave you... You didn't give it to me, though. Seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go. Thank you for moving dunks. I really appreciate you. I love you. What in the world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? We'll hopefully pick it up today after work. Okay, I will. Okay, I will post no info then unless nobody. Sorry, tell in group chat. I asked group chat if anyone cared about me posting stuff for my playthrough. Because originally, most of the people in it were getting the game. And then no one was getting the game. Except for me and Zach. Uh, but now Thorne said he's picking it up today. Because he wants to play the game with Wooper. And that, that's it. Like, he wants to play with Wooper and Pokemon Camp. That's the sole reason he's buying the game. No, it makes sense the Junior was the only survivor in this kind soul. Save it and brought it here. Exactly, that's what I'm telling you. There's a lore to this. You run into stronger wild Pokemon the farther you go to the wild area. If you like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poke Doll. Oh my god, thank you! No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you can join in the gym challenge and gather gym badges. That's why you talk to everyone. Okay, that's this. Do you take anything? Oh, it's a Pokemon. Can I buy Pokemon from you? I don't need them! Oh yeah, I definitely don't need them. Never mind. Uh, give me two more paralyzed heals. I would like to have three of each at all times. Twelve potions is fine. Zack Zack the Maniac. Dude, he's a fucking maniac. Get me a fucking laptop that cheap. Okay, we need to discuss the wild area. First. How is the wild area broken into parts? That's the first question. Cause I need to we need to discuss how we're gonna handle encounters in the wild area. Is it just the wild area, or is it broken into sections? By the way, I have full camera control. I don't know if I've had that this whole time, but... 
Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, because I don't know if they have any rest or not. Okay. <laughs> Look at that! It's a big fucking industrial castle. That's a mode of Stoke, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonia. My gran gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are selling out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? Sounds rough. Ha, huh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit I've got some talent. Yikes! Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road, really. It's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dins as I can. Fucking hop. I'm gonna battle the snot of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill on another page. Isn't she a professor? The grandma's a professor. She is like the professor's assistant. She's just the granddaughter. And the, fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Oh, he didn't say it starts this time. Maybe it wasn't a good joke. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on opponents that strong. Dude, I'm so fucking scared to fight a Dynamax Pokemon in a Nuzlocke. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon working inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Oh, cool. Thank you. I don't know what it is. Oh, hey, right. It's the portable PC everyone was talking about. He's a drug addict. The device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. There are some places where it won't work. You can use the Pokemon box to access your Pokemon box on your road. You'll be able to add Pokemon to your party or transfer them from your party to a box. Alright, that's fine. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team in your boxes, or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some of your Pokedex. People were really pissed this was a thing. This is this is something that like I'm like, it's fine. It's it's cool. It makes things easier. And it doesn't take away anything. The wild Aries wait for you. This is the start of your real adventure. This is very pretty. Okay. I want to know what this looks like on the town map. This just says meetup spot. Oh, that's because this right here is the meetup spot. So what is this? Okay, so they are different areas. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. You can disagree with me if you want. Four wild areas. Obviously, I'm just going to count them as a new route because they have an actual name. The trees are a little bad, but they aren't horrifying. I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't like a great... That kind of sucks. That's pretty fucking bad. Aside from that, uh, I think the trees, they don't look great, but I think I don't care if the trees look great in a Pokemon game. I think the trees look just fine. I don't need the super graphics. The, that, that, that right there, this, this is not, that's actually fine. See, that's okay. That's not good. I don't, oh, fuck. That's an onyx. Alright. Anyway. The wild area, it's its own route. I'm allowing myself one encounter in the wild and one Dynamax raid Pokemon. It's, it's only the first one. I mean, I'll do others. The only one I can use is one Dynamax raid per wild area route. Where did he go? He doesn't appear until I walk into the area or get close enough. See? And he leaves. Um, so, I don't know if I'll be able to see what the Pokemon is beforehand. If not, that's just more random chance. I will give myself the one reroll if it's an old Pokemon, same as the uh, regular things. And that's, that's the rule. I do have to catch it on my first try. Does Onyx have a new evolution? There's an Onyx here. Does he have a new evolution? Speak now. I thought the tree was a Pokemon. I think the tree... Oh, I found a note. The large Pokemon you see wandering around the wild area are strong. 
Drive down when it seems like you're in overhead. Try to run. Run like the wind. Are you large? Well, yes, that is bad. Pretty sure no. Okay. I mean, you have the list, so... Cooking at your camp can restore HP your Pokemon, even the PP they need to use when it moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up as well with a pipe and hot plate of curry. Visit berries trees and collect plenty of berries. Oh, wait! Well, that's a Wingle. Does Wingle get an evolution? Is that a Bunnelby? I can't tell. That is a Bunnelby. Did Wingle or Bunnelby get evolutions? Let me check real quick. Two Petcha Berries. I'm taking them all. Oh, never mind, it's an encounter! God damn it, shit! Alright, we get the squirrel. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I'll keep that in mind from now on. The squirrel's our encounter for this route. Okay, none of them have a new form. That's fine, I didn't want you to move one. I hope there's not a super cool Pokemon here, because we got stuck with the squirrel. Hey, I guess we're gonna find out what its evolution is then. Cool. Alright, we need to get rid of him. Oh, we have... No, we don't. I was gonna say we have a full team now, but this is... You wanna know if the squirrel evolves? No, I'll find out. I will ask. I didn't read its Pokedex. I should have read its Pokedex. What are we calling it? What are we calling this? Keep in mind, if you ever can't think of a name, I will I will pull up a random name generator and we'll pick from a list of options. What are we what are we calling this thing? I have no idea. Chesterton? You know what? You know what? I respect the name Chesterton. That's a very high society name, and I think I'm down with it. Chesterton is good. That's a good name. Okay. That's fine. Okay. I would like to I would like to see the Pokedex for this, because I skipped it. It eats berries non-stop, a habit that has made it more resilient than it looks. It'll show up on farms searching for yet more berries. Okay. Then we're gonna look at... you. So trees can lead to Pokemon. That's what we learned here. That's the important thing to learn. Now, something to consider, though, is what Pokemon can come out of trees. Because if we get the squirrel again, we can re-roll it because duplicates claws. So now the question is, next time we get to an area with a tree, do we want to shake the tree to see if we can get a new Pokemon out of it that we're not seeing in the overworld? So that's something to consider now. Oh my god, Eevee has guaranteed runaway. Oh, that's actually super good for the wild area. That's actually real useful. Your moves suck, though. It's mischievous. It's a little asshole is what it is. No ribbons. Ever. No diamond levels. I don't know what diamonds. She says it restores HP as well when the Pokemon eats a berry. Okay, so I presume like you get extra. That's a pretty good ability. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very balanced attack wise. It's it's pretty thick. It's got some thick defense. Bite. Uh, it's quick to flee. Alright, it's a little bitch, is what you're telling me. Normal, normal, psychic, grass, flying, electric. I was making sure we didn't have any dual types. Okay, we are going to go ahead and put you away. Do I have to use it from here? You can't use your Pokemon boxes from your bag. I see. How, where do I use it from? My party? I'm gonna presume this means I can't use it here. Or I use it from Pokemon Camp. Let's set up Pokemon Camp. Let's have a peep while I blow my nose.
Alright, sorry about that. Uh, by the way, uh, in about two hours, someone's gonna bring me some food. So that's when we're gonna take our first, like, 30 minute break or so. Maybe a little longer. Why are you saying OMG about what happened while I was gone? In your Pokemon camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con, too. If you slide your Joy-Con off the system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve or wave a Poketoy for their life. If you waggle that Poketoy, you might even entice Pokemon to hang out farther back in your camp to come play. Oh, shit. Let's try and do this very carefully without unplugging the mic. Or the switch, for that matter. My switch is, like, on the entertainment system, so it's hard to get a joy con out. When you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of people in Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before, so get to know them as you play together. Oh, you found something by searching. Well, here's all the lads. Uh... Menu, maybe? Oh, I can do this without the joy con. Okay. Who wants to come like Grookey? Oh, it's Grookey. Grookey, I'm gonna play. And Broomstick Junior. Oh shit, he's got the stick. And he oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god, fuck. Oh, we're Warcher. Oh my fucking god. Oh, they're beating the shit out. Oh fuck. Oh my god, help me. Big Burp, come back. Oh fuck, my knees. Big Burp. Good tr oh! He saw that training was over. You ready? You ready? You ready? Ready? You ready? That was a bad throw. Oh, Eevee got it! Look at that! Fuck off, trophy. Rissy ball. Thank you, brother. Are you ready? Hit the button. Bonk! Bonk! Who's gonna get it? Oh, shit! Mew's head now! Oh, never mind. No one got it. Look at that thick ass. Alright. I thought it was gonna hit him. We're, we're training the boys. We're getting them ready. Oh! Look at that! Chesterton brought it! Thank you, Chesterton! Thank you! Grookey. Catch. What's that noise? Oh, hello. Go get the ball. Go get it, Big Bird. Can I pet you? I love you. Get this. Hi. Oh, yeah, brother. Oh, you come and get it, too. We're training our attacks. Everyone's getting an attack in, except for Donks McGee. Donks isn't a fighter. She's coming to play ball. Move that you got. Bam. Nice one. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. We're good. Want to see Chesterton's evolution today? We're probably going to see all their evolutions today. At least one of each. Uh, cook. Let's, let's make some food. Cook up a fine curry while out camping by selecting ingredients and berries of your liking. Your curries will get more delicious if you choose to do things like using rare ingredients or adding lots of berries. Once you start cooking, fan the flames with your fan to keep things hot enough, and stir things up with your ladle to keep them moving. Only don't go overboard, you don't want to spill. The last step will be to add a bit of soul into it at just the right timing, and you'll have made a masterpiece for your Pokemon to enjoy. After you finish cooking, it will be time for everyone to dig in together. Eating a tasty curry can have a number of effects on the Pokemon that are at your camp, including restoring your HP and making them feel more friendly. I am going to not cook yet, I want to wait till we get our raid Pokemon, because I'm going to feel bad if we eat a meal with Mew and then discard him to the box. So I would like to have a full team before we can. Okay. One second.
that is a bundle, right? Yeah, it's a bundle. I mean, that looks like it's a ray, but there's no light coming. I don't know if the onyx was like a thread or it was something else. The pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area meet mark Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investing in the den. You can start the battle on your own or get three other players to help you out. I gained 50W. I got that from something glowing before. Oh, I need to put a different Pokemon up front. That's right. Uh, it's I'm really dogs me up. You know what? No. This is a great time to train Donks McGee. I don't want to grind a lot, but these are literally the perfect things for Donks McGee to gain some levels against. Because they're four times weak to electricity. God damn it, bro. So I want to do this just a little bit. To make Donks McGee strong before we go into like a Dynamax battle for the first time. Dude, I'm so scared of Dynamax battles. Oh, that's an interesting ability. Curing status ailments, I presume, in the rain. It's actually pretty cool if you can get one that has a like, rain dance or something. Or make it hold, no, never mind. I was gonna say, make it hold the rock that makes it rain, but the rock doesn't make it rain. The rock increases the length of the rain. Oh, that's pretty good. Trophy can absolutely learn Razor Leaf. Get rid of Taunt. Nah, get rid of... Get rid of Taunt. I don't think I'm ever gonna use Taunt. Taunt's, I think, better than Growl, but I just don't think I'll ever use it. <laughs> I would like to get Donk's McGee to level 11. Why fighting Wingles, real quick. If y'all don't mind. <laughs> <coughs> And, you know, the fact that everyone else gets a little bit makes it helpful, too. Oh, we have the thing here. Headbutt a window. I'm gonna blow my nose off this. I did take allergy medicine. I don't know if it hasn't kicked in yet, or if it's just not gonna do enough for me. Uh, do I want to fight one more? I don't think so. I think Donk's gonna be as fine as is. We're gonna go heal real quick. Which 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 raid should I go to? Should I go to one of the ones? Do we, should I go to that super spooky one, or does that look a little too dangerous? Let's go explore the super spooky one. If we think it's too dangerous, we'll hit one of the ones next to it. Oh, okay. I thought you were like... I just felt like doing that. Oh! the Pressing the R stick is a zoom button. That's pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that. Okay. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're rolling. Press the right stick to find a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. Alright, all good info. No, no thank you. What is that? Oh fuck it! It's shit, he's coming for me! He's gonna break my knees! Dude, that's a fat fucking pelican. I get the fuck away from that thing. Where was that spooky one at? Oh, it's fucking, it's way off in the distance. Can we get there? Oh, we can get there. Do we want to? What do you think? Oh, it's a new one! It's a new area. Time pole, I don't give a shit about. What is this? No, I want to see what that fucking thing is. Whoopers! 
Is that a snow run? That is a snow run. Does Quagsire, Snow Runt, Whooper, any of those have new evolutions? Temple? I don't think would. It's Mini Amu. Tell me if any of these things have new evolutions. That's a new form, I'm pretty sure. No, none of these are... Wait, it has a new form or is a new form? None of these are new forms. There's the ice cream cone. I think the wild air... Yeah? Okay. I think the wild area might all be old Pokemon. And the new Pokemon might be in the regular routes. What do you think? I'm, I'm waiting to hear. I'm gonna fight one more Wingle while I wait to hear back. Oh, what's this? I wanna see what this is. This isn't an encounter for that. We're back on the old route. Okay, it's a little tad. That's cool. The fucking head with a tail has a new tail. What's its name? It's Time Pole. I don't think it has a new tail. Ah, you astonished me. Fuck! New form. Oh! That time pole has a new form? For real? On God? Alright, fuck it, we'll grab it then. I'm not lying, I'm getting huh? scared. Chesterton, why don't you give it a try? Alright, let's go see what Temple's new is. So, ju just so we're on the same level, normally Time Pole evolves into Palpitoad and then Seismitoad. It has another form other than those two. And by form, I mean like it, it can change into it via evolution or some other way. It's not going to like. It's not like a Galar form that we're seeing a normal one, right? Do you know what I mean? Dude, this look has kind of. You're right, there's different Pokemon with similar forms. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I don't think I just know what you're saying. I'm gonna heal up. I don't really understand what you're saying about Time Pole. There's a Pokemon that has a different form that looks like Time Pole. Okay, so it's not Time Pole. Got it. Don't get one of them then, because I hate them. Seismitoad's cool. I do not like the other two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna get any of these lads yet. Dude, there's so fucking many of them. Purloin have a new form? That thing? New evolution? That's a big ice cream. We might have to just... We, what we might have to do is if none of these have new forms, we might just catch one. You know what? If you see shadows in the water, you'll likely find Pokemon lurking beneath. Face such a shadow and press the A button to cast your line trying to catch fish of a catch. Fishing rod shakes, press the A button once more to go the shadow and try to fish like shadows. They actually look nothing like that. They just did in my head. Okay. We're gonna this is gonna be our encounter for this area. If it's an old Pokemon, we'll re-roll it. Via uh surprise trade. It's a magic heart. Okay, gamers. That is pretty strong match card. Oh, oh why? Is there anything new for Magic Harp or Gyarados? If there's not, I think we're gonna go ahead and surprise trade this one. Away. 
Magikarp is no new form. Alright, so this is gonna be our first surprise trade of the playthrough. We're gonna see what we get. This weak and pathetic Pokemon gets easily pushed along rivers when there are no strong current. Or when there are strong currents. We're not gonna name it because we're getting surprise traded away. I'm not gonna bother re-rolling it to another Pokemon because. Can I s now swap this? Oh, there it is. It's it's the R button. I missed that entirely before. Keep extra Pokemon in your Pokemon boxes. You've got your own box in the Pokemon storage system, which you can access there. Found a Pokemon says everywhere. You can treat Pokemon your box anytime. Okay, cool. So Mew is going to get put into box three, which is for the left Pokemon that are not going to get used. Box eight will be our cemetery. So now, we are going to save the game, and we are going to re-roll Magikarp with Surprise Trade for our encounter. If, wrong button, the only, we are stuck with whatever we get, even if it's an old Pokemon, the only time we will re-roll it is if it is a Pokemon we currently have, or if it is so powerful that like we'll, we won't get to use it forever. If it's a little overpowered, I will keep it, and we just won't use it for a little bit. It's like the Pokemon trade and leave the rest up to us. As you adventure, we'll find an eligible training partner and carry out the trade for you. So let's take care of your only job, choosing a Pokemon you're willing to trade. That will be Magikarp. Okay. I would like to move you, then. I would like to... Okay, hold up, we gotta put him in the box. I'm sorry. Wrong one. Wrong button. So, a little, 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 little confused. A lot of buttons to hit here. Move you here. So, we're gonna have an empty party for... Not empty, we're gonna have one empty space for a little bit. I like that we can wait on the surprise trade to happen. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Okay. So now we're just gonna explore. 